Let's try to break off a piece of this part. The suckling pig's ears. Look at that. Look at how soft that is. Look at how glorious that looks. I'm gonna go straight with it. What's up you guys? Kilianji here. We're here at Little India and we're going to a restaurant called Meat Smith Little India to try modern Indian barbecue and we're gonna have a taste of some of the dishes on their new set menu. There's some fusion Indian Japanese. I can't wait so let's go. So just a little background, Meat Smith is owned by an Australian chef which also owns Burnt Ends. It's actually in the top 50 best restaurants in the world. This is headed by Chef Kurt which is the head chef here. He's a Filipino who gained his culinary experience in the Philippines. Then he moved here to Singapore, just applied everything that he has learned. And this is such a masterpiece, like how he creates dishes and puts in modern technique. But it really works and I think this is the first in Indian barbecue restaurant here in Singapore. It's just awesome to have this modern take on the Indian cuisine plus the fusion of different cultures and influences which is a mix of Japanese and Indian. Later we're gonna have the suckling pig which is lechon, one of the festive dishes in the Philippines which is always present during Christmas especially that has been influenced to us by the Spaniards as we were under the Spaniards for 300 years. It has been part of our culture and I can see that Chef Kurt as a Filipino himself inserts the Filipino touch in his menu. So we're gonna try the um, suckling pig in a few. I can't wait. Alright so we're gonna start with this appetizer called ikura papadam. Kind of like a caviar of salmon roe which has cream, maybe cream cheese. Stop with coriander and it's on the bed of a papadam. Papadam is like the thinnest, crispiest round flat bread popular in India. One of my favorite Indian breads. It's like a modern take and fusion of Japanese and Indian. So I can't wait to dig in. Should I eat it like a taco like that? Okay, let's dig in. It's like a bite of the ocean. So you got that texture of the salmon roe. Once it releases its flavor, it just tastes the ocean, the saltiness, along with the cream in there. Mm. Topped with fresh dill, which goes really well. Wow, that's like a bite full of textures and flavors. I'm so happy. Ultra thin, ultra crispy, and toasty. This is a good appetizer, really good. Okay, next on the list is what they call the biryani nigiri. Again, fusion of Japanese and uh, Indian. Nigiri is a type of hand-pressed sushi, one of the staples in Japanese culture. So they use Japanese rice combined with biryani flavors or spices. There are two variants here. The first one is topped with cured kingfish, topped with uni or sea urchin. Looks so creamy. The other one here, topped with roasted peppers with some yellow ikura. I can't wait to to dig in. I think I'm gonna start with the roasted peppers with the ikura and chives. When we eat in Japanese restaurants, we use chopsticks to eat sushi but what I know is in Japan, they just grab it like this and eat. Here's the biryani nigiri. I'm gonna one bite this thing. Never had this before. It's nigiri sushi, but the flavor is biryani, and you have the roasted pepper. I think it's my first nigiri with roasted pepper, and it really works. Like how it melts into your mouth is similar to the texture when you're eating fresh fish. That's really nice. I think they drizzled some oil in there, which is a nice touch. Wow, 
Next is biryani nigiri topped with kingfish and sea urchin or uni. Look at that beautiful yellow color. It looks so creamy. Again, I'm gonna one bite this one. Mmm. Oh wow. The kingfish just melts in your mouth and it's really sweet, really fresh. But there's this layer of tangy flavor. Then the biryani nigiri rice, which is amazing. From the spices to the tanginess, melt in your mouth. Kingfish. That's a bomb. I can eat tons of this. I'm digging these things. Biryani nigiri is a thing. I've never thought of Japanese Indian fusion before, but guys, it really works here at Meat Smith Little India. All right, so the third dish has arrived and it's called smoked pork cheeks served in a skewer. Some Indian spices in there, some pickles served with mustard, and I think it's mixed with some spices as well. It's a huge piece of pork cheeks. To be honest, whenever I hear pork cheeks, I'm already excited because it's one of the best parts in a pig. It's very small, but it's lean. It has some marbling in it that gives it so much flavor. So let's try to dig in. Mm. Oh my god! The pork is extremely soft, like it's just melted in my mouth. The moment I took a bite of it, this is just packed with flavor and porky goodness. And I love that they serve some pickles in there to cut through the fattiness. I'm gonna dunk it here in this spiced mustard right now. It will go well with beer or some cocktails. Cheers on my second bite. Look how soft and juicy and moist. It's very crispy. At the same time, amazing. <laughs> the best. So the fourth dish has arrived and this is called butter chicken which is served with biryani rice and this chicken specifically is brined for 48 hours American technique the slow cooking but the spices used are the Indian spices Indian rub and the staff has poured the orange butter chicken sauce on top and it looks so mouth-watering and it's served with carrot raita and there's some crispies in there it's like biryani rice crisps just sprinkled on top there and it looks so good right now let's start with the chicken it looks so moist and juicy I'm gonna get a huge bite here let's dig in The spices used on that chicken, not too overpowering. If you're new to Indian cuisine, I think you better start with this chicken. The chicken itself is very moist and tender. I'm telling you, it's succulent. To eat it with the basmati rice just completes it. Those biryani rice crisps that gives it a nice texture as well as the carrot raita, refreshing. Mm, it has some spiciness in it sourness as well really goes well with the butter chicken and the biryani rice they serve it like i was like this is a huge butter chicken and it's not done yet the staff chops it drizzles the sauce he sprinkles those biryani rice crisps and it's just super entertaining to watch you know what i'm gonna drizzle some more sauce in there it's so good Mm. I love drowning it in that butter chicken sauce because it's got some creaminess and tanginess at the same time. You won't feel umai or you won't feel gelat at all. Not to mention the serving is huge. If you're gonna order this butter chicken with a biryani platter, you need to come here with your family or with your friends. I've tried butter chicken so many times before. It's like the national dish of UK. This is it, the modern Indian meal delicious okay we're coming to the finale final dish has arrived and it's called a suckling pig brined smoked and finished on the grill smothered in some spices served on a bed of biryani rice mixed with some blue swimmer crab and some tobiko served with cucumber raita there's a drizzling of mustard which is like the sauce that we had earlier with the pork cheeks should be uh, finished off with the lemon to cut through the fattiness and the heaviness of the dish oh. Can you hear that? <laughs> oh my gosh, super duper soft and juicy. Can you see that? I think I want to try just the skin first. Cheers. <laughs> it 
it literally melted in my mouth. I'm gonna try it with the cucumber raita. Biryani rice with the tobiko, with the blue swimmer crab in there, with some of the mustard on the side. I wish I had my spoon here. Mmm. Mmm. The process of brining just makes a huge difference on the texture. The char on the outside of the skin, on the outer part, just makes it really crispy. So good. Pairs really well with the basmati rice, the mustard in there, as well as the cooling cucumber raita. Such a beautiful combination and application of techniques. Mmm. Let's try to break off a piece of this part, the suckling pig's ears. Look at that. Look at how soft that is. Look at how glorious that looks. I'm gonna go straight with it. Mmm. Oh yeah. This is gonna go well with beer. I'm telling you guys. One more bite here with some lemon. This is never ending feast. Mm. So we came here at 1 p.m. hoping that there's lesser people, but the place is so busy. It's packed with people. As of this moment, it's around 3.30 p.m. in the afternoon. There's still a lot of people and the kitchen is still busy. I don't want to bother Chef Kurt anymore. Hi, I'm Kurt, head chef of Meat Smith Little India. If you like barbecue, come over to Meat Smith Little India. <laughs> so that's pretty much it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed the review of Meat Smith Little India, a unique modern Indian barbecue restaurant here in Campbell Lane. I'll put the link and the address in the description box below. I hope you pay a visit. Come with your friends and your family. Have a huge meal. Share that buttered chicken biryani. Highly recommended as well as the uh, suckling pig. And if you're coming alone, I recommend the one biters or appetizers, small appetizers. There's Ikura Papadam, which is really, really good. And as well as the biryani nigiri. Yeah, that's it. So I'll see you on the next video. Let me know if you like it. And I'll see you on the next video here in Singapore.